is the Tad Show. Uh, all right, so now your question is, so is WWE a uh, monopoly? Is that what you're asking me? Yeah, so I want to uh, ask you whether you think it's, whether you think there should be one big dog or whether you think wrestling would be better off if there was legitimate competition that could take WWE out. No, I think the, the business would be much better how it was back in the day if there was uh, a competition. Competition breeds uh, great yeah. things, uh, as you know, right? And you know you're, you're, yeah. you know you're a young guy, man. Com- competition makes you work hard. It makes you better. Uh, complacency is a killer. And I said this yesterday on the show, WWE's booking – and their mindset, and their mindset, even if they don't want to be, they are complacent. Now, I will tell you this exclusive here, Anish. So you can put yep. this in your dissertation, if that's what they call it over I, there. I uh, shall. Yeah, yeah, here's the deal. Okay, so this brand split that Vince McMahon is doing, okay, he did this years ago because he's trying to create competition amongst his own teams. So what does that mean? Okay. That means his writing teams, his wrestlers, the announcers, he's trying to create competition for them to you know, compete against each other because he does not believe in uh, all, all these other companies out there. And they're, okay. not, they're not threatening him. So he needs to create his own competition. That's why, in my opinion, he's also doing this uh, brand split to make his company seem fresh. But not just that, to compete amongst each other. I lived this when I worked there, and we did the brand yeah. split. Trust me. So, yeah, I think the business would be much better if, if, let's say, a Ring of Honor had a lot more money and more TV penetration or TNA would get their booking stuff yeah. going and they had real money going on there and, and you know, all that jazz. I do think it would be better. Yeah, can I ask you one last question? Uh, yeah, sure. What do you think is the key for other companies like Ring of Honor and TNA to succeed under the monopoly right uh, now? The key, well... TV, uh, real powerful TV, and building okay. of character. Uh, but, but more importantly, building of characters. Okay, you have to have that that one guy or one girl that really. And thank you, uh, Anish, for calling. Hopefully, you get a hundred on this. Um, so, you need to have that character, that one guy or girl that people can connect to, really connect to, and that brings your brand sometimes to another level. You need that. Uh, you also need to market and brand better. Especially TNA. That was a big problem I had when I was in TNA. I found myself and a couple other guys were constantly talking behind the scenes to Dixie and other people like, can we start doing a, like a reel, what they call a sizzle reel, you know, which is a promotional reel, like one minute of just hyping everything, this great locker room, this locker room of wrestlers that we have and all this cool stuff, do it in a sizzle reel, a 60-second spot, and let's spend some money on Darn Raw a national spot on USA or something like that. So the mass wrestling fan and the mainstream fan gets to see what this TNA thing is. And they never did it. Maybe they didn't have the money. Maybe they didn't want to spend the money, whatever the reason. The sizzle reel, to be honest, in TNA was done. They had the reel, okay? And and they, they, they just never went forward with it. Those type things are, to me, important to get the word out, brand awareness. And But if you have characters that people can gravitate to, that's huge. Uh, and that's the main thing is that that one guy or girl that people can really connect to and people are like, I got to watch TNA or Ring of Honor to see this guy. I have to. Uh, but you also, more importantly, not more importantly, just as important as the talent and the TV, brand awareness. You need people to know who you are as a company.